Hello gamers! It's SoftKitty99 in House Flipper and let's continue with the abandoned house. At the end of the last episode I was painting the house and as you can see I've painted it over and it looks so much better. That coat of paint kind of makes it look a little bit like a Latin American terracotta glazed outside of the house and I quite like it. It just lifts the whole house I think just putting that liquor coat on the outside of it. I'm very pleased with that. Hello neighbourhood. So let's start inside uh, with some renovations. Best place, easiest place, probably the floors. So floor. So for the bathroom we're going to want to do something. Ooh, what shall we do? Shall we make it kind of fresh? How about the blue? How about blue for the bathroom? Let's have blue. So if we put blue tile on the floor. Oh, that is so easy to lay flooring. Do you know what? It's just to... Ah, that's just so easy. It's far too easy. You don't get something that easy in real life. But it's just very satisfying in the game. You wouldn't want to be there for hours trying to do it, would you? So, walls. I always think that bathrooms really need to be tiled. So do we put blue walls or do we do something? Do you know what? I quite like the idea of these white whirls. For We're definitely going to need at least two stacks of that. Even though it's a tiny bathroom, I think this might look really nice. So let's start putting that on the walls over here. Yeah, do you know what? I think that's going to look really nice. Quite often I'm tempted to put the same colour on the walls and floor, but a paler colour on the wall than is on the floor. But I think it, it's really nice to have a complete contrast. Kind of gives you a more open feeling, especially in a small bathroom. Having all the same colour everywhere is a bit too claustrophobic unless you've got a really big room, I think. Yes, I like those tiles. So this is the white swirl tile that we're popping up on the walls. And don't forget, inside the window frame. You could cut down on tiles by painting the inside of the window frames, but I don't like it like that. I like it all to be the same colour and style. And also with the, there's that little strip showing at the back there. I know it's a bit pricey to put tiles on that little tiny showing strip, but I just like it to be finished properly. I might be a little bit obsessive about that, having everything finished exactly properly. <laughs> that would be a bit sad, but there we go. Let's work on that. So the white swirls on one wall. Let's continue on our way round. And then we've got space for a toilet, a shower and a sink. So we'll pop those in next and get the bathroom finished first. And we need to remember that we took out all the lights and light switches so we will have to make sure we remember to put those back in so it'd be horrible if there's all dark imagine being stuck in the shower when it's dark and you've got no light <laughs> that wouldn't be fun would it isn't that funny how random thoughts pop into your head <laughs> oh we're going to need definitely a lot more than two stacks see i've bought two stacks of tiles thinking oh it's a small bathroom that'll work but it's not enough look we're going to need more Right, so if we open up our little tablet, we should still have the white swirls. Here we go. So ceramic tiles, white whirls. That's what it's officially called. Back to tiling. And pop up the rest of these around the room. We're near three more strips on this wall. And then it's just the wall with the door in. Of course, you don't have to tile all the way around. You could put paint on some of the walls. I just like the tiles everywhere. I know a lot of people do like one tiled wall where all the fixtures and fittings are, or maybe two tiled walls where the fixtures and fittings are, and then use paint on the walls that don't have like the bath and the shower and the sinks and things on it. I think that's quite often done in real houses because tiles cost a lot more than the paint. Oh, look, we're one, oh, one strip short, so we're going to have to buy another stack just for one tile. Ah, 
Do you know that, that feels like real life. <laughs> right, so let's make sure we've not missed anywhere before we sell the tiles off. There we go, all the way around, all done. Right, so let's sell the spare tiles. And now we need to fit in our fixtures. So we want to go to bathrooms and we need a shower. Let's start with the shower because that's the biggest item. So we quickly need to assemble it. So work with the little feet on the base plate to adjust the height. Pop in the base plate and let's start fitting the outlet pipe and connect that to the wall and click. See, so once it's accepted, it, there's a little white marker inside the tube. It's a little bit hard to see. And the inlet for the water to clean you off. Let's tighten those up and let's start getting in all of the side panels. All the little screws that need to be popped in. Yes, the game only has the one shower, so you don't really have a, a lot of choice about what you're going to be popping in. Uh, but that does make it uh, quite simple to kit out your houses as well at the same time. And I'm having an awful lot of fun with it. It'd be really nice if it did an expansion pack with a lot more furniture in. That would be really cool. Just give you a lot more scope in what you would be building and designing. But instead of that, they've decided that they're going to work on a, a garden pack, which I, I kind of I think is a good idea too. But hopefully down the line they will add more furniture and furnishings. So we need bathroom again. We want a toilet and a sink. Let's put in a simple toilet in this house because it's a small house. People aren't going to be expecting it to be too fancy. Oh, I would like it to be quite nice and functional. There we go. We've got a toilet. So all we need now is a sink to finish kitting out our bathroom. So let's close this and get to now what sort of sink should we fit? Should we fit in the very simple one or should we go you know what, let's go for something a little bit more snazzy. Let's try that one. Back up a little bit and open the doors and then, there we go, assemble. So the fitting's slightly different here because you've got to go inside the cabinet in order to be able to fit the pipe working. I think that's a nice little touch actually. And then the outlet pipes click them all in place and screw in the trap and close the doors. There we go, that's got all the essentials in. For the windows we'll need a blind. Let's use the mountable window blind closed because it's a It's a bathroom. Nobody wants people to be able to see inside their bathroom. Now, above the sink, I think we always need a mirror. I think it's a very strange house that doesn't have a mirror above the sink. Let's try and centre that. Does that look good? That looks good. Oh, do you know what I missed? I didn't bring up a toilet roll holder for next to the toilet. So toilet paper holder bathroom. Let's pop that on the wall right about there. How are we doing? How does that look? You know what? I think we could use a shelf. Shelf. Sh shelf. Hanging shelf what colour is that? Emerald Ocean Green Blue. Blue! There we go. Blue by many. Oh, why did it put it upside down? Don't put to make a shelf upside down. So let's put one up high and then one just a little bit below it so that we've got space for things to be hanging. Lovely. And now when we want something to be able to look at, when you're a little busy. <laughs> I 
let's pop the little painting right next to the shelves right there like so so we've got a little decoration and then all we need now are the switches so we need a light switch so switch in fact let's take the modern light switch and let's buy many and let's decide where we're going to put that in all the rooms so I think let's pop that there in the bathroom and then we'll want one in the bedroom I think we could use one by the front door let's put it this side of the front door there and then at the back near the exit we'll want one there that's it. I think that's all the switches we're going to need isn't it and then we're going to need lights so lamps ceiling lamps so for the bathroom I think we're going to want the little halogens but I think we're going to want more than one so let's put those in the ceiling let's try and line them up so we've got one at each end and I think in the kitchen area we could use a couple of those as well and then we're going to want ceiling lamps again for the main living room we could use quite a nice big fancy lamp let's have the chandelier tulips and let's make it in a, a lighter red wood color let's try and line that up between the two windows in that direction there like so how does that look that looks good so the only room that's not got a light now is the bedroom what shall we put in there I think we could use how about a reflector lamp and we're going to want to rotate that and put it in the middle of the room like so check that that's happy how does that look oh that's quite good for a bedroom I think I like that right there we go then that's all the lights in and that is the bathroom completed there we go that's the bathroom done so let's add the other fittings that we definitely need to pop in so we want radiators in a number of the rooms so let's fit those so that I don't forget So you need to make sure you put the fittings in at the top and the bottom and then unscrew to let the heat in so that's the bedroom radiator there isn't one in the bathroom there isn't really space for one in the bathroom to be honest and we need one in here So that's those fittings done. Now I would have loved to put curtains in but I don't think that will work because these windows are so close together that I don't think it's going to allow us. So I think all of the windows are going to have to have blinds fitted to them in order to fit with where the windows are because two narrow windows so close together won't allow us to put in the curtain poles for big curtains so we can't fit the curtain poles in here because these windows are too close together and we have that narrow closeness again here so it's just not going to work sadly and then this one is very close to the wall so the pole probably wouldn't fit but it's also going to be where the kitchen is so we aren't going to want to have a blind in the kitchen because uh, we are we'll yeah, what I mean is we wouldn't want to have a curtain in the kitchen so the blind is the best thing to do see my brain jumped too far and fast to the second half of the sentence there so I couldn't get it out there we go so I'm going to go around and pop blinds in all of the other windows and I'll see you again in the next episode hope you've enjoyed today's episode 
please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!